another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Stephen A. Smith and the times he shamelessly lust on camera. Okay, check it out. Girl, Lala Anthony's right there in that photo. Kim Kardashian. Lord have mercy. Look at Kim Kardashian. I digress. Focus, the focus. Again, I ain't seen Kim Kardashian ever with the makeup or whatever. I just know how she looks in the photos and stuff like that. Sensational. I met her face to face twice. One time in L.A., uh, both times in L.A., actually. One time at an event. Another time she was on Dancing with the Stars years ago. That was obviously before, you know, work was inserted into the proceedings. And she was drop dead gorgeous. Kim Kardashian, there are worse things to connect with than Kim Kardashian. So if that's what Tom Brady is doing. And by the way, there's a photo right up there of Kim Kardashian to my staff. Don't ever do that again. When you show me a picture of Kim Kardashian, I need to see more than a headshot. Okay? That is not a good job on the part of my producers. You must do better. You must do better than that. Anyway, I've said my piece. I've said my piece. Okay. There are a lot of nice things to do to enjoy your life. But when you got a teammate like LeBron James, yes, I mean stuff like that too. Lord, but I digress. Oh, he's married 13 years, Giselle Bunchen. She's something, listen, she's a sensational woman, no doubt about that. I'm, the greatest runway walk that I have ever seen was at the Olympics in Brazil years ago when that woman walked down that runway. Lord have mercy. That's a walk. I mean, you know why she's a supermodel when you saw Giselle Bunchen walking down that wa runway like that in the Olympics. It was something spectacular. No question about it. Bulls or burgers? Burgers. Ass or titties? Always, always <laughs> ass. That's true. I'm going to answer that. I mean, I know I'm, I'm associated with Walt Disney, but damn it, everybody knows that I'm a bottom feeder. Okay. I mean, we all know that. Bottoms up. All right. <laughs> Bottom, I'm, I'm good. There was a uh, well, you know what? Somebody, you know what? My definition of a bottom feeder wasn't what other people's was. They were like, "Do you know what that is?" I was just talking about somebody with a fat ass. Yeah, I mean, right. that's what exactly. I was talking about. I knew what that's, what I, that's what I was talking yeah. about. But 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 um, yeah, I I I, I live well. That's good. That's I, good I, to I hear. There, well. there was a block. Okay. Now I know this is his own show. I kind of find it weird that uh, he's on camera, just so direct. All right, uh, especially concerning Kim Kardashian on here, because I've never really seen an analyst or commentator, you know, act in this, behave in this way. So for me, it's kind of strange why he's doing, and I don't know why he's doing this. I think maybe, is he trying to be more edgy? Does he think that it's cool for him to lust over women like this? I mean, if he has some sort of interest in her or something like that, it's not a good move to be thirsting over her you know, on your own channels. I'm sure she's gotten this, she's seen this, <laughs> right? Um, somebody has notified her because it's the second time that he's done this, All right? And um, he doesn't care, <laughs> All right? Obviously, if he's, if he's um, telling his editors that he needs a full shot of Kim Kardashian, I mean, not to, not to put her down, but there are other women out here, you know what I'm saying, who... Or as pretty as her, beautiful as her, so I don't, I don't see, you know, why he's making such a big thing out of, out of her. Right, that that could be his own thing, <laughs> clearly. But but personally, I don't think it's a good look, you know, as somebody who we are supposed to be respecting, or right, somebody who brings knowledge to her, and now he's bringing this whole other element. He's not just with sports, or right? he's dealing with politics, you know trending news, scandals, <laughs> dating rumors, and so on and so forth, okay? So it's, it's not a good look for him to be acting in this, like, such a thirsty way, um, you know, in front of us. I think he's going to continue acting like this, but it's just, um, to me, it's just really strange. And I think, I wish that he could, if he sees this, if he can get to this video and try to switch up his ways, because this ain't becoming, you know, it's not like, it's not a good look at all for Stephen A. Smith. I've never seen him act like this before. Yeah, you know, since he's got in his new show, he's, I guess he's trying to be a bit more edgy. 
so now he's you know acting like in this crazy like I, I don't know I don't know if he thinks you know <laughs> like it's something that men want to see him thirsting or he's trying to show that he's you know a real man who you know likes women with assets or something like that I don't get it but it's not a good look at all anyhow so that was that's all that was my opinion on those actions all right so until next time